Hey everyone, welcome back to IT Samurai Teacher. My name is Shah Abdul. In today's video, we'll be installing Alma Linux on a Raspberry Pi 5. Alma Linux is a powerful open source community driven OS that's perfect for a wide range of applications. Let's dive in and see how you can set it up on your Raspberry Pi 5. Okay, uh, I'm going to go to the main website. So I'm going to uh, show you the download. You can click here to download and there's a various way you can go for the download. You can see it's a free Linux OS for the community by the community. So it's going to be free. So before we begin, let's talk about why you might want to install Alma Linux on your Raspberry Pi 5. The first one is enterprise level stability alma linux is built with enterprise level stability in mind making it reliable for various applications the second one is compatible it's com compatible with red hat enterprise linux or hel which means you can use many of the same tools and software packages the third one is security um, so with regular updates and strong community with Alma Linux ensures your system remains uh, secure. The, the fourth one is performance. It provides excellent performance on ARM architecture making the ideal of the Raspberry Pi 5. Okay, let's go ahead and download the image. If you go all the way down, um, you know what, I'm going to click here, download. And I'm going to use ARM64. And after that, if you go all the way down, probably you can see Raspberry Pi 5. Actually, it says Raspberry Pi. So Alma Linux build uh, standard Raspberry Pi images and images with GNOME desktop environment supported by Alma Linux OS version. If you click Alma uh, Linux Raspberry Pi wiki page, can see tested models alma linux os release have been tested the following models so raspberry pi 5 this is the one we're going to test today supported since june 2024 images so today is june 30th so i'm very very uh close so this month and i'm creating this video so we can test it out so you can see support raspberry pi model b 403, 3A, so so everything is here if you want. And I'm not going to follow this, but if you want, you can always follow and uh, do your own uh, advanced stuff from here. So let's get the basic. Now to download, you you can see there's a two versions, 9.4, 8.10. So 9.4 is the latest one. I'm going to click the latest one. Now in here there has a bunch of uh, uh, versions. So which one you need to download? So if you uh, take your mouse mouse pointer in here, under bottom you will see the name, the full, right? So if you go to the first one, it say Raspberry Pi. Uh, that's Alma Linux Raspberry Pi nine point four. So this is for the server versions. There's no desktop version here. The, this, the first two, I'm not going to ignore that. The third one, so I say GNOME. So this is the desktop version, GUI version. So you can see the date is 4-5, 2024, 5-14. Okay, that's an older version. So if you go to another one, you can see Raspberry, Alma Linux 9, Raspberry Pi GNOME 9.4, 2024 6.4 that's mean June 4th so that's the latest version so if you go down here uh, I'm going to be latest okay uh, I'm not going to use that because even from here you can see it are the same one so even from here you can see the uh, date wise you can find out which one is good so I'm going to use the GNOME version, that's the desktop version. When you click, it 
going to download from your background end so you can see it's um 992 mb and depend on your internet speed take some time if you have a good speed boom it will download quicker and after that uh we're going to jump in so till that i'm going to download the image uh, to install to our sd card i'm going to use the nvme right so for to install your alma linux the things you need to have a raspberry pi 5 a micro sd card at least 16 gb or nvme card because i have nvme card i'm going to install the nvme on it uh, if you don't know how to install nvme card on your raspberry pi 5 please go check my previous videos i show you how to install nvme card to your raspberry pi 5 and a com uh, computer with internet connection a power supply for your raspberry pi 5 and an hdmi cable and monitor if you want to see uh, live action okay once you have everything ready we can proceed uh, the installation now i already have everything now i'm going to download a tool called belly itch okay i type wrong actually so this is the tool i'm going to download to install that os to my uh, nvme card or sd card i'm going to reject all so you can use raspberry pi images so you can miss so this is the i'm going to bring it up so you can see in here you can use the raspberry pi image okay or you can use the balina so i'm going to use the balina but you always you can use this you can use the raspberry pi 5 choose os os uh, I'm going to use the use custom and I'm going to use the one I download right now on my Linux Raspberry Pi 5 and choose the storage and next and you have the edit settings make sure you have all these settings that's fine uh, I'm going to use Alma Linux I'm going to use the Pi 5 I'm going to enter password and click save and yes and yes this will going to install your uh, the uh, image to your card and uh, from this raspberry pi tool but now i'm going to use the itcher so i'm going to download um, belly nature for windows so i'm going to install for windows if you have mac you can download mac or if you have linux you can download for linux i'm going to click download so what is the different i mean both are same um it's good to have two tools just in case if you have any issues any kind of errors popping up probably you can use uh, other tool you know if Berlin have issue go back to the raspberry pi image or raspberry pi image have issues for the by nature the only thing i see the difference is you can do a erase in here but i don't i don't care about that because sometimes it's giving me issues but anyways i'm going to install the by nature now it's already download um, I'm going to close this and by which is coming up you can see this uh, this tool is free so don't worry you don't have to pay anything so whatever we're doing we we don't need to pay for anything right so because we download the this OS Alma Linux now we're going to install it so Flash from a file. I'm going to use the this file and select the target. So I have 256 GB and I have files on it. So I'm not going to I'm not going to do that. So once you're done, you just hit the flash button 
and it will install the image Alma Linux to your uh, SD card. This is my NVMe card. You can see it's my SCSI disk device. This is my 256 GB, uh, my NVMe drive. So after that, just click flash. Make sure you don't have any important data. I have important data, that's why I'm not going to flash it, but I need to use a different one. Okay, once you're done, let's jump to the, the next step. Okay, well, I'm, I boot it up with Alma Linux. You can see nice looking background and view. And if you go in here, you can connect your Wi Fi and you have Bluetooth on and you have balanced power and you have settings, log, log out, everything is there. Uh, it's pretty cool actually. So I'm going to use the settings. Uh, in the settings, if you go, you can see you can connect to the Wi Fi, uh, you can put the airplane mode, you have all the Wi Fi connection here, and the network. You can configure the VPN setup and you have Bluetooth and you have background. You can change your background. You have notifications, search bar, multitasking, applications. Uh, under application, there's uh, a few uh, tools there. It's very cool. Uh, you have privacy. There's a lot of stuff you can change around and play around. Um, you can online account, sharing, sound, power, display, mouse and touchpad, keyboard, printers, remote media, color, uh, a lot of stuff you can, you know, you can play around with this. So in this is I'm running under Raspberry Pi 5. So uh, you can see in activities in here, uh, you can change whatever you want, you can see. Uh, in here, Firefox, uh, files, software, help, and terminal line. So everything is there. So it's pretty cool. You need to try um, and see uh, what are the uh, project you can do with this. Uh, this is Alma Linux running under Raspberry Pi 5. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you on my next video with new Linux tools and Linux OS. Thank you.